Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Persona 5 Royal. Today, we're going to the other side of the High Rollers Club. Or, what the hell is this? Is this the High Limit Place? I have no idea. Which side did we even do last? The Battle Arena. We did not do the Battle Arena. Right, we did the Maze. Can I buy anything from you? Like, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Victory Beam Saber? Sure. And then this... Confusion, why not? Despair? That sounds like that might be important. <laughs> hey, Akashi, I got you a new weapon, apparently. Probably shouldn't have bought you one. Ah, it's better. Ten luck? Can we give that to Vataba? Because we get nothing for luck, I think. Yeah, like, at all. I already checked all this stuff. Alright, let's go ahead to the battle arena. This, this is the battle arena, right? Yes! Was there a red room? I don't know. Hi. Welcome to the battle arena! The infernal fighting ground where the embers of life glow bright. Oh, it's you guys. Our manager told us about you. Huh? Huh? The hell you been... The hell you been hearing about us? My, you're so quick to anger. Wonderful. This will be quite, a, quite boring if that wasn't the case. Now, allow me to confirm something to begin. Do you currently have 10,000 coins? Oh, no! Come on, let's go. Fuck. Well. Hey, Catchy, guess what, dog? You're, uh, you're not gonna be able to keep that weapon, I think. Actually, we might be able to uh, afford the weapon. <laughs> might be able to afford the weapon! But, I hope that was the right save, by the way. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we'll be able to afford the weapon, but everything else, no. Yes. There you go. We can probably buy We can buy one more, but we're not going to. We'll, we'll wait. There you go, dog. You're welcome. Don't say I never gave you anything. Oh, that's a good, good to know. How do you get... Do you just gotta go gamble? Is that it? Look, just get to the point... Yeah, I have 10 cents. Oh, yes, we do! Oh, you surely been busy. Very well, then. Allow me to explain the game to you. Here, you'll provide your... Prove your sup supremacy in a trio of fierce one-on-one -on -one battles. Then again, this is the pinnacle of our casino, the high limit floor. Normally, our VIPs would prepare substitutes who fight to the death for their sake. The attending guests would then bet on who they think will win. Here, too? Ah, oh, this shit makes me sick. The entirety of this floor must be like that. Taking a little risk for a high return is truly the optimal business strategy. But can we even participate if we don't have a substitute? Hey, hey we didn't need one for the other game. The same probably applies here too. As irritating it may be, that is correct. Please participate. Registration will uh, take place at the counter over there. Whoa, that's a safe room. I mean, that's great. So, this place looks question. If I say save here, then go back outside and buy those items, will I uh, be all right? No, let us depart. I could just do this here, right? We don't. It doesn't matter, right? If we have those, I'm not going to use them right now, anyways. Give me liquid mercury or cork bark, sure, whatever. Hi. Ah, welcome. Will you be participating in our setting battle arena? Okay. Of course, our team are going to take down this arena for, uh, of yours. That's one-on-one, on. -one on. Now nah, that won't do. This is a series of honest one-on-one -on -one battles. Don't tell me. Correct. Only one can participate. You'll need to choose someone to act as your representative. The entry fee is 10,000 coins. However, if you manage to succeed in the trials, you'll be granted 10 times that amount. Wait, what? That's enough to get us across the bridge. Come on, we need to do this. This. Mm, this feels like a trap to me. An amount that high would certainly insert great danger. But failing to infiltrate this palace would be the end of us. So we don't have a choice. Very well. In that case, Joker should uh, Joker should be the one to participate. We don't ha know what kind of enemies may appear, so his high level of adaptability would be vital there. Leave it to me! Yes. Are you sure about this? You'll have to fight alone. I always fight alone. But the way Joker's 
that, that's why Joker's the one doing it, right? I mean, I understand why. Just, just be careful, okay? Don't do anything reckless in there. Has your mind been made up? The battles begin once you enter. Now then, shall you challenge uh, the imposing battle arena? Let's do it! Oh, in that case, please head on into the arena. Entry fee and appropriate prize shall be calculated at the end of the game. Now then, prepare to know the true meaning of agony. Only you will be able to continue from here onward. We'll be cheering you on for the stand, so best of luck. Alright. Yeah. I know. I'll be fine. Probably. I have no weaknesses thanks to the accessory. Who's my default persona? Bugs Bunny, huh? Okay, that should be fine. You null physical there. Okay. Okay, we, we, we should have... Yeah, we have a range. We have a pretty good range of stuff, right? Uh, we have personas that are strong against every element. We have personas that repel or drain elements. So we're good. We're good. Some might not be the best. Some might be just downright useless. That's rude! Odds are 1.1 to the house, 23.0 to the Phantom Thieves! Someone put a bet on me! Wow! The Phantom Thieves are surprisingly popular! It's rare to see odds in the double digits! Now, let us begin our serious one-on-one -on -one battle! Oh, it's what the, the Blue hell? Man group! Well, it's kind of. It's the lesser Blue Man group. This isn't one-on-one -on -one at all! Right from the beginning. I'm used to it. Now then, it's time for this hellish trio of battles to begin. Ready, set, go! What were you guys weaknesses again? Do you even have a weakness? Avoid using wind. You don't let Let's your go. guard down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Where's my health? Oh my god! Guys, I healed the first save I did. Good job, Futaba. The first save I did, I healed. Because I was like... Clearly, I don't want that low of health. Um... And then I reloaded the save because I couldn't make it past there. So... Oh, oh. Thanks. You know, that's a little hard to say. I'm just going to call him the Phantom Dweeb from now on. Oh, that's clever. All of you betting on the house, do not fret. The second round of contestants is arriving now. Oh, these ladies? They're even more than before. That's nothing. Don't worry about it. How cowardly. There's nothing fair or honest about this. Damn right, Haru. Quiet down in the peanut gallery. Now it's time to die in this blood curdling battle! Yeah, maybe. Bless attacks will do it. Bless attacks? I got bless attacks. I got bless attacks out of the Waz freaking zoo. Do I have any group bless attacks? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Thank you for the money and the experience. It's like two levels. It's a step forward. Actually, no, I didn't level up last time. Futaba did, and then my Persona did. I'm probably I don't know. You can't kill me. It's, uh, it's Thor, right? Go! Ride his bones to dust! Let the extreme third battle begin! What the hell's Thor weak to? A healthy died in the last movie, anyways. Um, Thunder Emperor. You don't say. Um, so, I don't want you hitting me with that hammer. Do I have anything that nullifies physical and lightning? No. Okay. 
I got Repel Lightning. I don't really want Repel, because I, I would be surprised if Thor didn't absorb Lightning. Look, do this one for right now. And then, uh... Heal up? Okay. Charge is good. Charge is, charge is good. Charge is a physical attack, yes? So, chewing so. Oh, you're preparing? Good. Prepare all you want, because I st still have, like... Yeah, I still have that. Um, here? Oh, Megaton Raid? Ah, uh -uh, bitch! Welcome to Pound Town! Yeah, I did that! Go Blue Man Group! Get a level! Once again, justice prevails. The, the, the payout will be handed over after this. Uh, please wait. Congratulations! Here's your reward. 100,000 coins. Thank you! Oh, shit! That was freaking amazing, Joker! It was pretty bad ass, wasn't it? Except the part where I didn't hail myself before going in there. I even planned on giving you a fair fight in there. Yes, I expected that would be the case. Our other trials have been rigged as well, after all. So you sent Joker in knowing full well the possible dangers? I mean, I was in no danger. They needed to cheat a lot worse than that to be Jane danger than me. I simply had faith in his skill. And to be honest, there was no other course of action available. We should head to the bridge. This shall be our moment to shine. Woo! This might be a long episode today. So I can't buy those items, huh? I'm gonna save, just in case. Also, I probably wasted that chewing soul, soul huh, if we're getting near to the treasure. Let's oh well. Let's save here real fast. And, uh, yeah, let's... I, yeah, it sucks that we're not gonna be able to buy those other two items, but at the same time, I was probably never gonna use them. So it doesn't matter? Does it matter? No. It's a little disappointing, that's about it. Maybe if I get to the treasure, I won't need the coins. That again, I'm probably going to spend these thousand coins to actually get up there. Authenticating members card. The required number of coins to activate the Bridge of Judgment is 100,000 coins. We got that! Now let us through! It seems you worked hard to gather that many coins. Thank you! Barely broke a th sweat. I never expected you would make it this far. I commend you on your vigorous efforts. However, you will never proceed to the manager's floor ahead. From this moment forward, the number of coins for the bridge will increase to one million coins. Woo! What? What? That's not fair! You can't give us an impossible task like that! Can I just do the battle arena like four more times? Or nine more times? Oh, you finally understand? That is the point. Your task will forever be impossible. Can I just grapple hook over there? Hence, I will emerge victorious. We had only just barely gotten a hundred thousand coins. What are you talking about? I destroyed that arena! She said she would let us through if we had one million coins, yes? In that case, there won't be a problem. Y you know how to win that many? Not exactly. I already have the requisite coins right here. What? How could that be? Do you remember what we were told at the very beginning? Essentially, we could borrow as many coins from the casino as we already held on our card. Well, yes, but... For example, had we borrowed the max when we had 10,000 coins, we would have ended up with 20,000. Okay. And had we then bet on Joker at the Coliseum as a guest, our total would have grown to 460,000. Yes, but you're speaking purely in hypotheticals. That's not what actually happened. Correct. 
on Joker's card. However, that is not the only card in our possession. You have another card? That's the Taro Tanaka card I told you to get rid of. Exactly. Instead of disposing of it, I secretly used it to gather coins and outsmart this system. Okay, but like, how long have you had that? <laughs> 460,000 coins! That means we would have over 500,000 if we add all of our coins together. <laughs> so what? That's still clearly not close to the required total. Yeah. Actually, once my count reached 460,000, I borrowed the maximum amount a second oh. time. Oh. After paying back the original 10,000, I was left with 910,000. Adding Joker's total to that brings us to 1 million and 10,000 coins. For now, I gotta... We can surely cross the bridge now. I gotta go buy those items. Wait, uh, if, if we borrow all them coins... Is there a problem? The manager's room lies ahead. We won't need to worry about coins after this. This is true. Or did you honestly intend on paying back such a large sum? Impossible. This can't be. It's your own system. Whoa. It's actually a little frightening how sharp you are. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm glad I was able to contribute to our Phantom Thieves efforts. Now. We should hurry and let the bridge down before she decides to change the rules once again. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go back and buy those items. Put the bridge down. Yeah. That is a lot. That's a lot of chips. Is that is that a million chips? Doesn't look like a million chips, to be quite honest. I don't think that's how scales work either. Hell yeah, we're almost there. You better be ready for whatever lies ahead. Yeah, about that though. I gotta go buy those items. Hi, I'm Joker and I would like to make a purchase. Thank you. There we go. Now, was that hard? No, it wasn't. <laughs> Cat here's like, you need, uh, you know, at least 10,000 in the past there. So, where are we? Oh, we're at the treasure. That's convenient. Sure. It looks like this is her base of operations. Perhaps her treasure will appear on that pedestal. A lot has happened, but we managed to get up here. Miss Manager's days are numbered. How on earth would you think we barge in here? Elegance is necessary for victory as well. I mean, you have a point. Sure. Sis. <laughs> Our infiltration route is secure. We need to head back out and send the calling card. Yeah. And once the calling card is sent, Sai San's treasure will appear, correct? Yeah. Once the target is cognizant of the danger, that cloudy thing will take shape. I wonder, what will the treasure look like? Uh -huh. That depends on the person. Actually, don't. What is that? Coin ship or something like that? I don't know. For Kamoshida, it was a medal. Madarame's was a painting, and Kanashiro's was fake money. This is a little weird. Father's was a plastic model. In other words, the treasure is what marked the beginning of the palace ruler's aspirations. Could also be what caused their desires to swell. Thinking about it won't get us anywhere, though. Yeah, but it's fun. Let's head back and prepare the calling card. So, we're just done? We can leave? Thoughts? Huh, what's up? You curious about the treasure? Speaking of that, it actually looks like there's a shape form in the haziness. Oh. Uh, I had to guess, I say it's... Since this treasure is the police notebook. Right, your father was... <laughs> she probably thinks Dad died because the police were after you... Or the police were using him. That's why she believes justice is meaningless and that there's no point living under living a subservient life. Dad's death is even the reason she aspired to becoming a prosecutor and grew so obsessed with winning. She really loved him. 
Hmm, Saison's heart must be exhausted from living in such a fiercely competitive world. Honest beliefs alone can are not enough to get you through. Even I understand that pain. But that exactly but that's exactly why we need to change our heart. Yes, that is it. That it is. And now we've ascertained the location of the treasure for that goal. Would you like to return to the entrance now, Joker? Yeah, sure! Okay, okay we'll be able to send the calling card from, from the real world now. Yeah, probably be a long episode today. Uh, just double check the the velvet room. Just uh, make sure there's no cutscene or anything like that. Hey. Hey. I actually wasn't expecting a cutscene. <laughs> it would seem. Oh right. Yeah, the strength card. I see you have brought us bugs with the the revive spell. Hmm. Huh. And you make it seem easy. Well, the assignment is done. I was gonna take a drink, but I guess we can do this today. Think back on our encounters here, we have lost our composure in front of you quite a few times. Actually, I did say we were going to do that after the palace, right? So, uh, me and Justine had a little talk. I don't know how to put this, but we don't know each other too well, even though we're so close. We uh, have also come to realize that each of us compliment the faults of the others quite nicely. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had a deep conversation like that with anyone before. Oh, and it made me remember something super important. I bet you want to hear what that was. Isn't that right, inmate? I'd like to. Of course you would. Listen up. The thing that I remember is something somewhat is something someone once told me. You explain it, Justine. Essentially, the twenty-two Lacana represents this journey. The fool embarks on a pilgrimage through the numbers, overcoming death and eventually obtaining the world. In short, the journey is of the tale of one's path through life. So we realize something. If this wild card thing, the potential of the fool, proves that you're a traveler. Then you becoming stronger will lead us to all, in all the right direction. That may be true the true meaning of the rehabilitation, or perhaps it is something beyond even that. Regardless, one thing we can be sure of is the list was written with the intent of becoming completed. Understanding and having faith in that intent is this is the change this list has brought about, uh, brought about in, in us. Stumble on my tongue there. Not that someone like you would be able to comprehend that, but for us, it was something really important to learn. Oh, and, uh, I think we might know who that voice in my head was, too. Can't tell you right now, though. Why not? First of all, we don't have any way to actually prove it. Secondly, if it is indeed true, everything we'll have come to know, uh, everything we have come to know will be thrown into question. <laughs> Regardless, we have grown able to reflect on ourselves thanks to you. This may not be something I should be saying to you, but I have quite enjoyed our time spent together. You hear that, inmate? You better be overcome this ruined stuff. Keep surviving all the way until we learn the truth, together! We vow to do everything in our power to assist you for the sake of your future and ours. Woo! So, this is... Rank 9. So we got one more, yeah? Alright. So, there you have it! Don't expect us to play nice just because we believe in you, though. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna be as strict as ever. Farewell. Now then, it is time I assign you the final task before you receive your immensely powerful reward. Is it unlimited power? No. For, the tha for that task, bring up Seth the High Encounter. Speak to us again once you've obtained it. Listen up, inmate. That's Seth, the one that knows High Encounter. You better not. You better put something, everything into getting that. Okay. Hold up, though. Uh, where are my skill cards? Do I have a High Encounter? I don't. I thought I did. That stinks. Oh well. How how hard could Seth with a high encounter actually be? Actually, I I, I gotta like Justine, pretty much register all this crap. Sure? There you go. Now I might be able to make a Seth. Needs our Let's execute them. Gather them. I can make a Seth. Now. Not terrible. Any you guys but have high crazy. encounter? <laughs> Um, the answer may surprise you, also may not surprise you, because it's no. Hmm. Who out of these would learn High Encounter? Seth, are you going to learn High Encounter at any point? Because I can make you, and you'll level up at least once. Then we'll get Gun Ant. No, you gotta get, you're only 51. So you probably wouldn't level up. Um, 
Your tower. Oh my god, of course you're gonna get, like, nothing. I can make you and, like, hang out with the twins. I think we have one waiting for us. Hope they give us, like, high encounter. Could also hope that you learn it. I could also just... Look up to see if... Isis learns high encounter, though I doubt she would. And then I could level her up a little bit. She's priestess, so I'd actually probably, if I could make her, it would be a pretty good level boost. So there are definitely ways to get this right now. Um, you okay I'm not this? going to. You okay with this? I think I'll wait a little bit and come back here at a different time. Already? What? Hopefully I'll get a high encounter card, because from what I was seeing, there's like a couple combinations that I could get a high encounter on him. I really just don't want to do that right now, even though it'd probably be beneficial. Um, but at at some point, what do you want to do? I'm hoping we'll get a high encounter from like either I don't know a drop, a quest, the twins when we hang out with them. Let's leave. We're one rank away, right? So. Worst comes to worst, I spend some time doing some fusion to get high encounter on Isis or um, on Anubis, and then, then I could just throw them into Seth and we'd be good. Hmm. I'm back. We finally made it. All that remains is to actually send the calling card. Looks like we will manage to get it out before the investigation starts going down, too. We still don't know anything about the true culprit behind the mental shutdowns, though. I wonder if we'll learn anything from Nidibon's shadow. I doubt she has ascertained any relevant clues. I agree. That is why we have the warrant out on the Phantom Thieves, after all. Furthermore, the public believes the wrestling us will solve the case. The public prosecutors won't stop now. They have the weight of the general public on their shoulders. If only we knew who the true culprit was, we wouldn't have to fight Nidibon's shadow. Who could it be? Do you think it's someone we know? I mean, that's a possibility. True, but there would be no end to this trust if we began doubting our peers. Either way, we only have one opportunity to turn the tables. That fi final calling card shall be my magnum op opus. Simply let us know when uh, you're ready, Alex. Yeah, but like first, I gotta like get a massage. What? And then we're gonna see who can hang out tonight. I might just hang out with the twins. You're Either so way. Stiff. Like right here, Master. Thanks. Oh. See you later. See ya. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see, who is available? Obviously no one there. The catchy. Oh yeah, doesn't want to level up. Ah crap. Okay. Catchy's grayed out. I can always check in. Oh yeah, what level are you? You're level 5. Next time we hang out with him and level him up, right, we'll probably get his quest. Oh yeah, you're a little further away from that? I'll go get you the affinity reading for sure. But I think I'm gonna actually see if the twins want to hang out. And hopefully they'll give me like, I don't know, a high counter card? That'd be fantastic! All right, so after that affinity reading, uh, oh yeah, does want to level up, what are you gonna but do today? we're gonna hang out with the twins. Uh, what was that? <laughs> what was that? I saw something about art. Apparently, there was a place collect uh, such places collect many objects. Uh, autumn is supposedly referred to as the season of art. In your world, it's uh, in your world, so it is especially appropriate timing. Art is an expression of the heart. It echoes the soul of both artists and the viewers, or so I've heard. The strength of one's heart is the strength of their persona. I'm certain this place shall aid the inmates in rehabilitation. Does those locations sound familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, then let us escort us, then escort us there immediately. Museum. Okay. What do you do? Sure. Let's go to the art museum, I guess. You, you give me a, a high counter card after this, please. Word, inmate. What is it that humans call art? We shall see it ourselves. Well, the fact that those ladies behind us were dressed up as witches. <sighs> I see. Our prior information was correct. There seems to be a great number of objects on display here. All these are art exhibits. I've heard of them before. Apparently they involve humans' aesthetic senses or something. Let's go inspect the premises. 
Are you even capable of appreciating art properly? What? what do you mean by that? Stop shouting so loudly. The sign's prohibited. Oh, I, I know. Anyways, let's go appreciate some art already. Oh, the number of pieces of display are far exceeded my expectation. Art sure does take many forms, though. Some of the work was downright photorealistic. I mean, actually, wouldn't it be easier just to take photos in those situations? We don't say that to the artist, Caroline. And what's with those portraits or whatever they're called? What's the point of painting a giant human face? Those landscapes are even more incomprehensible. Uh, what's so interesting about painting some dull terrain? Where's the fun of painting live humans or scenery just so that the other humans can look at it? Uh, they say true beauty. They see true beauty. It's self satisfaction It's not fun. They see true beauty! Ah, I see now. There are paintings of flowers and noble women here that would certainly fit that description. But there are paintings of things like empty mountains and wriggly old men, too. And is, there, is, there, is there also true beauty in those, too? I don't get it. You and me both, sister. Speaking of, there was one exhibit that just looked like a bunch of scribbles. Why would something like that be on display? I can understand different art having different levels of craftsmanship, but wasn't that simply on par with the child's? No, if some if anyone is the child here, it is you. I don't know, Justine. I kinda on Caroline's side here. Even I can sense something special from that painting. Excuse me? What do you want about? It's scribbles! Any way you look at it! The face is all screwed up and the nose and the ears are wrong. The painting is an accurate description of the uh, uh, this depiction of the darkness within the human heart. How unfortunate, Caroline. It seems you lack even a shred of aesthetic sense. Excuse me? I'll tell you who's lacking, Justine. You're lacking proper eyesight! Technically, you both are, actually, with the depth perception. Perhaps she lacks any sense at all. Sounds like you need a good shock to the brain. Same could be said for you. Hey, inmate, are you gonna tell me the messed up sketch of art, uh, messed up sketch is actually art? Art is challenging. <laughs> I get what you mean, at least, I think. And I think you're barely evading the question. I suppose we'll call this what one to draw for now. Say, did you see the painting that looked like a bunch of scribbles? Apparently it's worth 50 million yen. What? Even my youngest could have made something that looked like that. What? 50 million? That makes no sense whatsoever! I wholly agree with you on that. It requires further study. Let us continue to inspect the premises. Yeah, I'm not really an art buff. Some stories of paintings being worth a certain amount of money are actually, like, insane, though. We saw a great deal of interesting displays. But the last sculpture we saw, that was nothing but a tasteless reproduction of a naked body. Are you really gonna tell me that counts as art too? I thought the human concept of beauty simply took many forms, but it has spread all the way into the realm of bizarre. Why do humans even pursue this beauty in the first place? Do you all waste your efforts striving towards beauty? Do you also waste your efforts striving towards beauty, inmate? I have a max charm stat, so I'm already beautiful. From <laughs> that, yeah, you're smiling there. From where do you muster such stupendous confidence? I don't know, I was born with it. We'll see how you feel after I stuff you into a trash can. But anyways, we've seen the art that humans are so fond of. This assignment is officially complete. Here's your reward. A regenerate three. That is, that is not what I wanted. Still haven't learned why some of the humans call autumn the season of art though. Well, whatever, how about we head back and try to make our own paintings? Oh, can we finger paint? I'll help! The guillotine? Oh, were you asking what the draw? The master? Fine. Ah, well, figure we'll we'll figure it out when we get back. Hey, mate, get get to stepping. You can draw me. Like a, one of your French girls. I actually was hoping for a high encounter there. Like, I actually was... I was so sure they were gonna give me a high encounter card. Or high high counter card, not high encounter. That's something different. So we'll send the calling card. And then You know. I guess we'll have a class too. But I don't know if we'll actually get to the boss fight today, because we're at 34 minutes, right? We can probably just do it next episode. It's already November. We've gone through pretty much all the school's events now. So the f uh, so that frees up you uh, frees you up for studying. It'll be getting colder from now on, so warm up, uh, so wrap up warm and don't get sick. 
I mean it. If you even think you've got a fever, then go see the nurse. And also wear a goddamn mask. Oh, and speaking of the nurse's office, Dr. Maruki, Maruki is going to be leaving us on the 18th. If you need to talk to him, now's the time. He was kind of a kind of guy, but it was nice having him around. I'll be kind of sad to see him go. So, so if he helped you anyway, any of you feel better. Make sure you thank him before he's gone. Anyways, oh, is that my cue to actually hang out with him? Man, time flies. The whole year's gone by already. I mean, it's been over a hundred days. A hundred and three days, I think, of this episode since I've started this. I think I missed a few episodes, too, when I got sick. So, yeah. Was school always like this? I don't feel different than usual, do you think? I'm getting a real feeling, too. What do you mean? It's like a lot of people around us seem restless or something. Pretty unsettling, right? Uh, something's different. Huh, is it just me? Is it just me that thinks nothing has changed? Nothing seems unusual on my end. What about you, Mokoto? Someone ask for me! Everything's normal over here! We most certainly did not ask for you. Is Mokoto sick today? Sorry, I was only just noticed the chat right now. I think everyone's just agitated about the fan of these rumors. Try not to be affected by the people around you. It's important to stay calm in times like these! You know, stay calm and carry on. Alright, so... Alright, am I busy? Yes, I am. Haru... No Maruki, though. I would totally hang out with Haru today, but I'm gonna go send the, the calling card, I think. Um, I don't really need to buy anything, I think, so we should be good. Head to the attic. Okay. We'll send the calling card, and then we'll do the boss fight next time. Oh, yeah. All we gotta do now is send the calling card. So, when do you want to send it? The earlier the better, right? No. In my opinion, we should wait until right before the time limit. Okay. May I ask your reasoning behind that idea? So am I not starting the bot fight? Okay. Sai-san is a realist. Even if she believes the Phantom Thieves exist, do you think she knows how they steal hearts? Furthermore, there is a chance she expects that she herself will be targeted. So because her heart is ready for any possibility, the calling card might not have enough effect? I only say that theoretically, but I believe so. Hence, it would be prudent for us to wait until we are driven into a corner to act. Okay, right. If right, right, right. so, with no time to spare, I assume even sai -san would have to be somewhat agitated. Yeah, that makes sense while we're waiting to the... Not what he's saying, but what I just obviously remember at the beginning of the game. That's why we're waiting for the time limit, right? Hmm. Don't want to accidentally I'm lose sure 19 days, right? Appears. That's impressive, Akachi-kun. So, it is a bit vexing that you know more about my sister than I do. I would like to know more about your sister. <laughs> oh, that's only because of my work as a detective. Well then, if our time limit is November 20th, and we act the day after sending the calling card, shall we send it out on the 18th? Sure. We 17 days from now. We as much as we can before then. Well, I can't complain about having more time. Make sure you're ready, everyone. Okay. Um, sure. Exit. Huh? Yeah, that's it for today. So we have 17 days. Then, clearly, I need to go see if she's selling liquid mercury. Hi, are you selling liquid mercury? What would you like? You are. You lovely old person. I don't know if you're a lady or a man, and I don't care, but you're lovely. Uh, so yeah, I guess... Let's go talk to, not on, we're done with on, to Haru. Oh, everyone's available. Wait a minute, what? What the hell happened? Oh! That's weird, actually. It was just Haru here before, now it's not. Alright, sorry about that. Just made a quick save. Let's go and talk to Haru, then. She's on the roof. Because the roof is on fire. Hi, Haru. Nice clothes. We just need to wait until the Yes. Jen, you want to hang out? I came to sue you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey. 
In that case, if you'd like to use it, I'd like to use this opportunity to bring my most recent harvest to Sakura-san. Okay. Hey. Sure. I'm so glad. I'm me too. I feel bad for Shinya, but I'm gonna be like focus on you and Futaba in the daytime. Hello, Sakura-san. I'm sorry for asking this of you. It's all good. Not like I have customers to deal with. I know. I don't know how he stays in business. So, this is what you grew? Yes. I'd like an honest opinion from a culinary professional. He's not a professional. Let me see. That apples? To be honest, both the taste and appearance are the opposite of what I'd call market grade. Oh, so they're good? I see. But it's impressive you managed to grow anything at all up on a rooftop of all places. I'm honored to hear you say that. You know, I can't say it tasted good. No, you could. It sure. was actually somewhat refreshing. Kind of like how you feel good after taking bitter medicine. I've never felt that way. Like, I, if I take cough medicine, I actually feel like I'm gonna die. came across the plant in my house. You're not even sure what this plant is, Haru? It's possible that it's an experimental breed created for use at Okumura Foods. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hold up. Did you just feed us a plant you didn't know what the hell it was, Haru? Thank you very much for the input, Sakura-san. That's messed up, girl. Of that. Haru's vegetables have a bitterness to them, but also extrude a strong energy. Right. That was the same thought I had. I think I understand what Sakura-san meant when he said they were refreshing. The sunbathed vegetables seem to be filled with energy. They may prove useful during a palace foray. I agree. I'm so happy. I didn't expect this hobby of mine to provide value to the Phantom Thieves. I mean, it might not if I forget it's actually available. This is actually the only thing I can honestly say I'm good at. You're pretty good at swinging the axe and jumping off the top rope, Haru. Uh, you don't have to do this. It sounds like hard work. It sounds like hard work. Thank you for worrying about me, but I find the work relaxing. Fair enough. Hey, um, do you think you could help me out again sometime? Like you did today? You want me to bring this in, old man? I don't know. It's a deal. <laughs> We're like real phantom thieves. Haru, we've been through two palaces together. We are real phantom thieves. Okay, I'll do my best from now on. All right. Seems uh, Haru seems a little more enthusiastic than before. We found some rotted vegetables that. Kind of seem like poisons in your backpack. Can you just tell me about that? It seems you were probing into a certain conglomerate. Yeah? There's the possibility you even infiltrated their company building. Perhaps some sort of connection? Are you talking about Big Bang Burger? That was like last month. Tell me about this person. I kind of wish she would be like, okay, wait a minute. You were just telling me that you were infiltrating my palace, but now you're telling me how you started seeing this girl? What does that even mean? Also, I gotta get an Empress persona. Uh, cultivation allows you to grow vegetables with Haru on the Sujin Academy rooftop. All right. Uh, you can ask Haru, who has an incredible green thumb, to grow vegetables for you. Haru's vegetables are full of energy and grant a variety of effects when used as items. They may be proved useful when exploring the metaverse. Still, he was right. The taste leaves much to be desired. Add some salt and pepper? Sugar? Honey? Not you, just add it to the vegetables. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Your feedback on the vegetables was a big help. Oh, is, if there are any vegetables you'd like in particular, just let me know. I'm cer I certainly had plenty of seeds, so if you have a preference, I prioritize growing those first. Sounds good. That was our deal. Sounds good? Gigo, leave it to me. After all, this is my own way of contributing to the Phantom Thieves. Alright, I'm going home for the day. Bye. Bye. See ya. Alright. Ah, uh, your 
back. I am back. Hey, hey. Oh, I got some sooty armor. I should probably either wash that or sell that. Oh, you know what I could have done? I, uh, Sojuro, I could have had freaking Kawakami make me some damn curry while I was out the other night. Who's available tonight? Gunman is not. Oh, yeah, is. Just, I guess we're going to go hang out with Oya oh, yeah, then? We're going to do that next time, though. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, want to get my videos, I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.